Yo, folks, it's me. I got another video coming. <laughs> oh my god, that was a stupid intro. <laughs> Jeff Barrow's on the hot topics here, and I got a video for you. So, we're going to talk more politics. And of course, everything I got to say is nothing but my opinion, my perception, my two cents on it. None of it's fact, fiction, or whatever. So, check this out. I've been watching the, the uh, Arizona governor race for 2022. And uh, Carrie Lake, Katie Hobbs. And it's interesting how they are like two opposite people. It's interesting how they don't deal with everything the same way. One wants to debate, the other doesn't. One will talk to media, the other doesn't. One will talk to a group of people, one will only talk to a couple of people. And it's just so interesting. Um, in this video though, what I want to talk about is, is also how that they have, how that they're kind of compa they're, they're campaigning with their their other candidates, with other candidates. For an example, Carrie Lake has partnered with this guy named Abe, Abe something or another, I forget his last name. And he's running for what? Attorney General, I think. And then there's a Blake Masters. He's running against Mark Kelly for a Senate run. And And so she's definitely partnered with those two. And she's partnered with a few others, but definitely those two. And there's been times when she talks about crime, when she talks about law enforcement and things like that, she always has Abe with her. And it's like a joint press conference. Or, or when she's going to an event, and she does these events called Ask Me Anything, where she'll go around and all over the state basically and she'll um, she'll just have a forum and they'll get a handful of questions from the the uh, the crowd and they'll write them down and then this person there person who's doing it's obviously a carry supporter but a majority of them that's in the crowd are carry supporters I love to see I love to see her do a deal where she's doing one of those ask me anythings and None of her supporters are allowed in there. It's and even the person at you know right asking the the uh, I guess the moderator, the person asking the, the the question that the 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 crowd writes down. Everyone there has to be a Hobbs supporter, and they have to hate Carrie Lake. And I want to see how Carrie Lake handles that, because that would be a hostile territory. Everybody in the room is against you. They're all going, ah, and, you know, she's got to deal with it. I kind of want to see how she responds. I bet you she'll do pretty well. If Katie Hobbs was in that position, she wouldn't even go in the room. She'd just leave, you know. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, you know, the lion's den or the tiger's den or something like that. You know, you got a den full of lions and tigers and bears and, and, Who's going to go in there to save the little child? Carrie Lake will. <laughs> Carrie Lake will be too. She'll literally have. That was my dog. Hi, Contra Love. <laughs> so Carrie Lake will literally jump in there, save the child, fight off all the tigers and nails, and get out of there without a scratch. She's like a superhero. Hobbs would be like, Oh no, someone go in there. Oh no. Oh, the kid's dead. Oh, that was a shame. That's like Katie Hobbs. <laughs> because she wouldn't go in there. She's like, oh no, that's insane. <laughs> but it's interesting how these two are like opposites. So she's partnered with them, and she's been doing this since like day one. She's partnered with these people. And Hobbs, she hasn't. She's been all by herself. Now, just recently, just recently, I saw that she was going to, not necessarily an event or anything, but going to go talk to the people of Arizona 
and she was in some deal, and I don't know if she was knocking on doors or what, but it was like her and Mark Kelly. And then it was like her and and the person running against a, by the way, I don't even know her name, Myers or something. And it was almost like she saw what Carrie Lake was doing, and everyone's losing against Lake and her gang, if you will, and her team. And she's like, oh, no, maybe we should do the same type of thing. So now she's partnering up with a couple of her Democrat peers and going to talk to some of the people. But you only got like a few days left. At the time of this this videotaping, it's what? I don't know what this today is. Today is October 29th, and I'm going to post this, what, Monday or Sunday? Probably post it Sunday, right, if I get it, make sure that I edit out all my curse words, right? But, yeah, so all of a sudden she's doing this, and the election's only like, what, 10 days away or so? I don't even know when the election is. I do, I, I vote by mail, but, so mine's already gone. Um... But anyhow, get out there and vote, folks. Um, really, regardless of who your candidate is, vote, vote, vote. It's your fault if you don't vote. Um, the way I see it, though, if enough people vote, Americans win. Because I think there's more Americans out there than there are anti-Americans. And when they say anti-Americans, based on policies, that would be the Democrat policy. That's the Democrat Party. So, but that's for another video. Anyhow, stay tuned for more fun and stupid opinions from me, Jeff, Arizona Hot Topics. See you by a fun.